Hello everyone, this is Herb from World of Walt coming to you live from the Magic Kingdom at Walt Disney World in Florida. It is an overcast morning, but still a good day in the Magic Kingdom. I have a fast pass for Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin, hoping the attraction will be acting up or not acting up. It has done that in the past for me. So let's take a little stroll right down the middle of Main Street USA. Thanks for joining me. Last time I tried to do a broadcast of Buzz Lightyear, the attraction was down. So hoping that everything's going to be okay today. Emily, hello to you from Tennessee. Thanks for joining me. Jeannie from Texas and Susan, good morning to you. Craig from Maine, how's it going? Welcome to Main Street. It's a little bit chilly here by Florida standards, about 69, going to get up to 80. And rain is expected for later in the afternoon. Hopefully I will not have rain today in the morning. Hugo from Puerto Rico, hello to you. Thank you for joining me. Well, to our walk down Main Street and then I'm going to hang a left just so we can see what else is going on in the Magic Kingdom before making my way over to Tomorrowland and the Fast Pass. Cindy, good morning to you. Thank you for the well wishes. Don from Hagerstown. Dorothea from Morgantown, West Virginia. Glad to bring a little bit of Disney fun to you. I think I hear the Barbershop Quartet, the Dapper Dance. Let's see if we can see what's happening. Oh, the suffragettes are out. They're fun. Fine Dapper Dancer having a good time. Gail from Long Island, hello to you. Thanks for joining me on Main Street USA. Anna from the UK, thanks for being here. Not as crowded as I thought it might be today, given it's the beginning of spring break season, but still plenty of people. Wasn't too much of a delay coming and going through the parking and security process. Robert says, great way to start a Saturday. Thank you, Robert. Appreciate your being here. Tim Peterson, the official and unofficial marketing manager of the Pin of the Month Club, says it's a nice walk to talk about the Pin of the Month Club. So it must be time for the shameless plug of the video. If you'd like to have a little bit of Disney fun delivered to your home every month, go check out pinofthemonthclub.com. 
There, it's not a video without that. Leanne has 197 days staying at Copper Creek. Ooh, that's cool. I would very much like to stay there sometime. I have not done that yet. Janet said, do I get tired of going to Disney every day? Uh, well, uh, no, I don't. I don't get to go every day, but I don't get tired of it either. It's uh, always a lot of fun. Stacy has 114 days traveling across the pond from the UK. We'll make our way over towards Adventureland. We'll do the loop through Fantasyland. Get over to Tomorrowland and check out Buzz Lightyear. Fingers crossed that the attraction will be working well. D says, snowing in upstate New York. Thanks for the video. Wish I could say I'm bringing you a little bit of Florida sunshine, but it's more like Florida overcast. But at least it's not cold. Well, cold by northern standards. Tracy, good morning to you from Minnesota. Favorite thing about Saturday mornings. Thank you. Appreciate that. Appreciate everybody who's here. Enjoy commenting back and forth. So thanks for those comments. Keep them coming. Thanks also for the thumbs up and the likes, especially the shares. Great way to get the word out. All right. The music has changed. Time to go to Adventureland. Samantha's got seven days to go. Jessica trying to get the one-year-old to watch, know what to expect. That's fun. Tracy, 137 days to go. Deborah loves the Saturday morning with Disney Good. Joe has four inches of ice covering the parking lot. That sounds wintry. <laughs> Dickie says, stop and get a Dole Whip. I don't think I can get 500 spoons to share it, but good, good uh, treat to get. Skipper Canteen here. I had a chance to eat there a couple times. Menu's been changed up. I should take a quick peek at what's being served up today. Set a course for adventure. It's like pork, shrimp, and edamame beans. Tastes like chicken, because it is. Kids meal. Coconut with pineapple basil, basil compote. Interesting. Always interesting to see what's going on here for the adventurous eaters among us. Kim has 84 days, has never been there. Hope you have a great trip. Okay, we're going to take one of my favorite little shortcuts here. We are going to exit Adventureland, enter near Frontierland and Liberty Square. I can see the Haunted Mansion across the way. Rachel's going to be here on May 27th. Christopher says, need to do the Tiki Room. That is a good idea. Um, I, I should go back to the Tiki Room. It's fun to do. Don't need a fast pass. Don't need to wait very long. Thank you. That's a very good suggestion. Hey, welcome to Liberty Square. Matt says, have I tried the cheeseburger egg rolls yet? Not yet. Sounds good, though. George says, thank you. Need this in Ohio. Glad to do it. I appreciate your being here. Christine, first visit in October from Australia. That is terrific. Hope you have a great trip and aren't too jet lagged. That's a long way to come, but definitely worth it. Hope it's a good one. Brett, does uh, Mickey or anyone stop you for a picture? <laughs> uh, Mickey, definitely no. I do occasionally get to meet people who are watching the broadcast or who have. It's always an it's honor important. when people stop and spend a few minutes. I really appreciate it even if sometimes I'm a little wordless. And Liberty Tree Tavern. Love it, great food. Me too. It's like uh, Thanksgiving every day of the year, or at least it can be. Very good. 
Chris said, check out the Muppets show in Liberty Square. Great moments in American history, but most of the American parts are great moments in history, most of the American parts. It is a fun show. I definitely recommend taking it in. It takes place on the second floor above Liberty Square, not too far from the Hall of Presidents, which we're passing right now. It's a lot of fun. Judy from Ohio, hello to you. Fran from Kissimmee, just down the road. Thanks for being on the broadcast with me. You can see the Haunted Mansion off to the side, along with a favorite souvenir shop, Memento Mori, which means remember the moment, kind of a reminder that, or remember that you are mortal, I believe. Uh, interesting and kind of risky name for a store, but fun. Kevin has Slinky Dog and Flight of Passage fast passes for his trip. That is terrific. They are both hard to get. My guess is that Flight of Passage might open up just a little bit after Star Wars Galaxy's Edge opens on August 29th. Sherry, good morning to you. Small World is straight ahead. Aaron is on the broadcast. Aaron, haven't talked to you in a long time, my friend. I hope you're doing well. Okay, 10 minutes standby for Small World. Not bad. But here's the real test. Let's see what the standby looks like for Peter Pan's flight. Corey, good morning to you. Okay, 70 minutes standby for Peter Pan's flight. That's a good standby wave right there. Good long time. Christina from Alabama, welcome to the broadcast. <laughs> Tim says it is a small world after all, and it is. The Regal Carousel is out from under the scrims, looking very nice, even on a gray day like today. Past the castle turret straight ahead, you can see the cranes, which are working on building out the Tron coaster in Tomorrowland. Looks like a lot of the ground clearing has taken place. And the construction project there coming right along. Will be fun to see. I don't think we have an opening date yet too far out for that. But as part of the 50th anniversary, I think we will be able to experience Tron in Tomorrowland. Chris says, will I get a sneak peek of Galaxy's Edge once it opens? I sure hope so. I am definitely hoping for that. If the nice folks at Disney Media Relations are listening, please let me see it. No, I don't want to beg or put anybody on the spot, but I, I sure hope so. It's hard to know when exactly that might happen. We're still quite a bit, still bit, quite a bit of time between us and the August 29th opening date. I would imagine some of the media process will depend on how the construction goes when things are ready. I also expect Disney will probably make a pretty good media push, even though they really won't have to. I think Star Wars Galaxy's Edge is going to bring huge crowds and tremendous lines, even if they just kept quiet about the whole thing, but we know that they won't. Diane says, how is the weather? You know, it's actually a pretty nice day. It's very gray and overcast. Can't really see the sun, but 69 when I started, probably a lower 70s now. Really a nice day. Although later today we do expect rain around three or so. So good to get the fun in now. Joe asked, how's the crowd level? Not bad. I actually expected the uh, Magic Kingdom to be more crowded than this. I expected the uh, entry process to take longer with parking and security and ticket admission. But it was all pretty quick. I was very pleasantly surprised. Emmy is in the broadcast. Good morning, Emmy. Thank you for joining. Christina, do I think Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway will open this summer? I do. Um, that would be my, my guess that they will want Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway to be open in the summertime, probably stabilized 
before Star Wars Galaxy's Edge opens to take some of the pressure from the crowds off of Galaxy's Edge. We also have the new Cars attraction, Lightning McQueen. It's going to be opening at the end of this month. So Disney's Hollywood Studios is really going through a major transformation, pretty much unrecognizable from what that park looked like just five years ago. Very exciting. Dawn, hello to you. Thanks for joining the broadcast. Shannon from South Dakota says thanks for doing the videos. You are welcome. I appreciate your joining me. All right, Cosmic Rays. Easy to get a seat right now because, well, it's not serving, I don't think, but it will be a popular spot. Tomorrowland Speedway is closed so they can reconfigure the track as part of the construction of the Tron Coaster. So we see the construction walls up. Lisa from North Dakota says, love the broadcast. Thank you very much. I appreciate your being a part of them. Always fun to share some Disney fun and chat a little bit. Kelsey from Cincinnati, hello to you. I am a bear cat. Chris says, thank you. You're welcome. Lori from Brooklyn, Ontario. You can see the Tomorrowland Transit Authority People Mover gliding by overhead. I was really uh, am impressed by the flower beds here entering into Tomorrowland. You kind of think of Tomorrowland as very concrete and sterile, but the flowers coming in here are really always beautiful. And as I always say, I'm glad that I don't have to be the one pulling the weeds. Joe says, thanks for the broadcast. You're welcome. Thanks for being here. Cheryl is sharing the broadcast. Thank you for doing that. I always appreciate the comments. It's fun to chat back and forth. Hear what you're thinking. The thumbs, the hearts are a big encouragement to me. The shares are a great way to spread the word. Sandy from Ohio wishes she were here. It's actually a pretty good day to be in the Magic Kingdom, but I think it will be important to get the fun early and then be prepared for rain. Sue says, loves the flowers. Yeah, me too. They look really nice. Tammy says, thanks for sharing the adventures. Glad to do it. All right. Our destination is straight ahead. Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin. Good news is I did not see a mega line for a fast pass, which suggests that the attraction is working well. Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm so excited. <laughs> Thanks for uh, saying hi. I'm I'm Herb. I'm Vicky. We watch you every Saturday. Oh, thank you for doing that. I appreciate it. The notification came on that you're here, and we're like, he's here. Let's go say hi. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, I like your shirts. Thanks. Thanks. Thank you. We do appreciate it. You make everybody happy. Thank you. I appreciate Thanks. it. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Oh, sorry. That was fun. All right, fast pass straight ahead. Sue said, yes, not like the last time. Yeah, seems to be everything is working today. That's good news. Lynn says, thanks for the video. Joseph says, I can't hear you. I don't know if that was here, H-E-A-R, or something else. Jennifer loves to laugh more. Me too. There have been announcements in the past that you're not supposed to record it. I'm not sure if that's still the case. Andrew, is the Carousel of Progress open? Yes, it is. Carousel of Progress is open every day. There was a time when it operated seasonally, which is always sad. Hi. Oh, thank you. It's such a pleasure to meet you. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Thank you. It makes my Saturday. Oh, thanks. I like being here better though. Like ride with you. That's more fun, isn't it? Enjoy the ride. Thank you.
Yes, Carousel Progress survived the switch from seasonal operation. Oftentimes when attractions go seasonal, it means it's the kiss of death. But not the case with Carousel Progress, which is good because it is a favorite of mine. Kristen is watching from the Budapest. That is great. Thank you. Someone said, uh, thoughts about Peter Pan. I wonder if that was thoughts about um, doing a broadcast for Peter Pan. You know, I could give that a try. I'm not sure if it might be too dark. Some of the really dark rides just don't come through very well. Tammy says, that was fun. They said hi. Yeah, I, I do appreciate when people do that. It really is very kind that they take some time out of their vacation. Sandy, to infinity and beyond. Chris said it would be nice to meet me. It would be nice to meet you too. I really appreciate a chance to say hello to everyone. Say thank you for watching. Karen is going to be here tomorrow. Good for you. Ted is a Carousel of Progress fan. Pam from Wisconsin. Hello. All right, won't be long now. How many here, guys? One. Thank you. Thanks very much, guys. Have fun. Jerry says, hope I get a high score. Me too. I have gotten 999999 before. There are a few targets. If you hit them, you get mega points. There's one that's up above a uh, kind of an entry from one room to another, which I think you get maybe 100,000 if you hit that. So I'm going to look for it, see what I can do. Nicole says, do I like this ride or Toy Story Mania better? Ooh, that's a tough choice, but a good question. Actually, it's one I'd love to hear from everyone. Are you more of a fan of Buzz Lightyear or Toy Story Midway Mania? Uh, that's really hard for me to choose. I really like the motion of the attraction vehicles in Toy Story Midway Mania. I think the 3D effects are really nicely done. It's always a workout on the wrist, though, when you have to pull, pull, pull. But I do think you can see what's going on a little bit better in Toy Story Midway Mania. It's a little hard sometimes to know where your pointer, your laser pointer is in Buzz Lightyear. So I guess if I had to pick, I would pick Toy Story Midway Mania. It would be fun to be able to do a broadcast there, but because everything is 3D through the glasses, I'm not sure that would work. Good question. Karen is a fan of Mania. Carol, is there a hidden Mickey there? Uh, good question. I don't know about hidden Mickeys here, but possible. Maybe someone else on the broadcast knows. Roxanne, Toy Story is a favorite ride. Do you read me? During your mission, remain seated. Like a temporary stop. Amory says, tough choice. I have to say Toy Story. Michaela, Toy Story. Sandra, Toy Story. Tim says, Toy Story has fun games. Looks like Toy Story is the winner between this attraction, Buzz Lightyear, and Toy Story Midway Mania. Or Toy Story Mania, I think, might be the right name. Buzz Lightyear, over and out. All right, let's see how I can do in holding the phone and pulling the trigger at the same time. I will speak a little less now so I don't disturb the people around me. All pilots, stand by. You are clear for more.
That's such a grand score. Definitely not a high score. Mission accomplished, Space Rangers. Check the status board and review the score. It's like I am a planetary pilot, kind of hard to read. All right, 107,000. Not bad, it was still fun. Debbie said, not bad. Thank you, Debbie. Plenty of Toy Story merchandise here. This is kind of fun. The Nervous Rex. Buzz, buzz everywhere. Carol said, good job. Thank you very much. <laughs> better than she could do, or he, whatever, sorry. Thank you. Leslie says, thank you. Brett said, not too bad. Yeah, I think I missed some of the key targets that allow you to really get a high score. But it was still fun. Hope you enjoyed taking a little spin with Buzz Lightyear today with me. Cheryl said, great excuse to play again. Robert says, great job, thank you very much. Adam says, will they let you film in Soren? No, unfortunately not. I tried that and you have to put everything under your seat. So you are not able to do uh, broadcasts from Soren. All right, everybody, I really appreciate your being here today. Thanks for joining me for my fast pass on Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin. As always, appreciate uh, your comments, the thumbs up, the likes, especially the shares. Uh, if you um, enjoyed the videos, they also get reposted back over to Facebook. 
Also check out YouTube, do a search for World of Wealth and subscribe there. The videos get posted on YouTube and I sometimes post exclusive content on YouTube. I appreciate everybody's conversation and support. I hope you have a great weekend. And until next time, God bless.